Wearing sunscreen and protective clothing are the best defenses against the sun's damaging rays. But researchers are exploring whether certain ingredients in sunscreen might actually fail to prevent melanoma, a deadly form of skin cancer. With a grant from the National Cancer Institute, UAB physicist Thomas Nordland is testing sunscreens to determine if transfer of absorbed energy could be a contributing factor in the rise in melanoma rates. You want the sunscreen to dispose of the energy very quickly and in a safe way as heat. Now, we are looking at this one particular disposal mechanism, which is not good, and that is the sunscreen absorbs the energy and then transfers it somewhere else. Sunscreens are designed to absorb various parts of the sun's spectrum, such as UVA, UVB, and UVC rays. As sunscreen is absorbed into living layers of the skin, the fear is that the energy of UV rays blocked by the sunscreen may be transferred to healthy cells in another form, resulting in damage. If DNA is close enough, to, can hop over to the DNA. If that happens, it's just as if DNA absorbed the UV light originally. But occasionally, if just the wrong damage is done, the, this cell can become a cancer cell. Other theories that might explain the rise in melanoma cases include misuse of sunscreen and possible flaws in the design of sunscreen. Researchers caution that other than staying out of the sun, using sunscreen and wearing protective clothing is still your best defense against skin cancer. Sunscreen, certainly use it, but don't use that as, as an excuse to go out for five extra hours.